Hello everyone, this is Bella from DrBella.com. I will be talking about something that has been going on for a very long time in the Nigerian family, the issue of salary. When I see this salary matter, so you don't tell oh, this thing, don't spoil many Nigerian families. So today, I decided to bring my parents into the loop to know how we take fees this quantity. We don't destroy so many homes for our Bodo Niger so. You see my mom, she's a civil servant, you know, the whole monthly salary things, and my dad is a businessman. He has been saying for a very long time he doesn't know how much my mom earns and my mom has been adamant to tell him how much she actually earns. So I got tired of the whole thing and the fan actually asked me to write about something like this and I remember I read about it when it's happening right in my house. I can decide to talk about it and you know get the general public's opinion on how this issue can be resolved. So I'll be asking a couple of questions to both my parents, Mrs. Aze, a civil servant, she's a teacher, she's been teaching for a very long time, even before I was born, and my dad, a businessman who is you know well versed in the act. So I want to know how they feel, why my mom has been adamant to let her um, him know how much she's been earning for a long time for the duration of the time they've been married and why my step why my dad is actually my stepdad so you know the whole thing is my dad i love him so much so anyway so want to know why she's been so adamant about this whole thing like she doesn't want him to know how much he earns and why he wants to know how much he earns so i'm going to be asking them a couple of questions so um Jessa, Please, uh, we'd like to know, the general public would like to know why you, how you feel that you, um, your wife, you don't know how much she earns or for the long time you've been together, how do you feel that you don't know the actual salary your wife earns? Well, I'm feeling so bad. Okay. Because several times if I ask her how much is your salary, she will not respond to me. Mm -hmm. And from beginning to the end, I don't ask her several times, she couldn't reply. So and she I don't didn't know give you I, any reason why she doesn't want to tell you how much no, her no, 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 no. She no, hasn't no, given no, you any no, reason. No, you reply. Okay. No. Let us ask her. Uh, Mom, why haven't you, why you never tell your husband how much you collect a salary? It's in her. You're welcome, my dear daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, God created a man mm -hmm. and a woman to be an assistant to a man. Mm -hmm. And I believe that God has made a woman to help a man mm -hmm. and not to be the head of the family. Mm -hmm. You see, so, in, many men are very, 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 very trickish. Mm -hmm. If you happen to tell them this is how much I'm earning or if they happen to come across your best sleep, mm -hmm. automatically they will leave the responsibilities, the responsibilities of the home mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. That is the reason. That, that's why you've not actually told him how much you earn. Yes. Okay. This reason that she has um, told you, do you um, do you agree with it? Do you think if she tells you how much she begins to earn this instant, you will stop doing your duty as a man and as a father and as the head of this household? Do you think it's possible? No, that's if, if she tell me how much she says you say you're qualifying for salary, mm -hmm. I'm a man of the house. Okay. I will do my duty. Okay. That's the matter. Okay. And you, you're assuring her that if she tells you how much she earns every month, apart from the normal ones she does, you know, every month you bring, she brings, both of you take care of the family, but you just want to know how much she earns. Yes. Okay. Mom, what do you think? Are you ready to tell your husband how much your salary is? Well, uh, I will not make it. I will not make it public consumption. Okay. Uh, a man, a woman is made to be under a man. Mm -hmm. If he solely demands, mm -hmm. and uh, he said it will bring a problem in the family, mm -hmm. I will make a time mm -hmm. to let him know. Okay. So the issue of you know bringing money at the end of the month to cater for the house to take care of bills, um, I would not want this issue to escalate more than this because I know it's been going on for a very long time and I I am very glad that you know we are making progress with this issue. Um, so do you think it is wise for instead of you talking about salary, him talking about his income? You know sometimes his business might not be you know. As um, as um, progressive as it once was, sometimes customers don't come for like months. You know how his business is the supply business. It's not every time he has customers. Do you think it is wise that every month, you know, 
you put something uh, in the accounts you have both of you have a joint account you have an estimate an estimated um, amount where you say okay honey uh, at the end of the month you put say uh, maybe 500 naira honey maybe at the end of the month you put uh, 5000 naira or 500 naira so you know to make so when you actually both of you need money you will not be dependent on each other salary so when one person wants to go to that account for something both of you will go there as husband and as wife that is you know your marriage is built on love and trust you go there together and use that money as much as you want to instead of fighting over salary all the time do you think it is a good idea uh, thank you very much uh, living on trust the, uh, it's all about the grace of God mm -hmm. because men being what they are mm -hmm. if eventually we open a joint account mm -hmm. and they have been said that a woman should be under a man Bible the, the man, even the man so mm -hmm. he can have a random uh, withdraw no he cannot because they need both of you's um, signature to release money to one person. It's not possible that one person will go to that uh, bank and withdraw the money without the other person's permission. So when any of you need money, you have to owe yourself like this as husband and wife, you know? Both of you owe yourself like this and you take yourself to the bank. That is it. So it's not cause problem again. At the end of the month, so take something out of your salary and put it in the bank. At the end of the month, he takes something small thing out of his business and put it in the bank. So it's not be causing problem in the house. Uh, you know, being a businessman, mm -hmm. not every time business, you know. Yes, that is why I'm saying that mm -hmm. at the end of the month, even though it is 1,000 Naira, you both of you will put it in that account. So when there's, you know, emergencies, both of you will have joint savings, you know, that you say, ah, honey, uh, you know, I want to buy a part today. You don't have money, we're gonna let us go to that our account and take something from it, you know, to help ourselves instead of us to be depending on salary. Uh, I still say when there's a project or emergency mm -hmm. and she and my, so, my husband calls on me mm -hmm. uh, my darling this is what is happening and even myself seen it I can give an assistance okay so you don't want this joint account uh, I don't so much like it okay what do you think about it sir well as you said it mm -hmm. I can't force him to do joint account okay so what you said, nice man. Let us take it like that. So, but at the end of the month, both of you will come together and say, uh, we'll be spending maybe twenty thousand for the from the beginning of the month. Maybe we'll buy two delica of rice and keep in the house so we can feed ourselves and our children. We can buy granola of how much. We can buy the son of how much. At the end of the month, both of you will put your head together and bring you know something out of your income. You know, so this whole salary things will not be causing problem. Yes. Do you do you like that idea? At the end of the month, both of you bring something and you know help yourself with it. Help us with your children. You know we don't have job. This start, is we stay. From the ending of this month. Mm, so, well, my daughter, what you said. Um, you know my business. Mm -hmm. uh, Any time. If, if I have money for pocket, mm -hmm. I buy things to come home. Okay, I'm glad that um, both of you um, have decided to talk about this issue, and I'm honored that you know both of you decided to honor me. You know, it's not every parent that wants to you know matter to go public like this. And this is my parent, and this is still Bella from Talk to Bella dot com. Have a nice day. For a transcript of this um, um of this um. um um, vlog if you don't have the um, MB or internet to watch all this video on YouTube you could as well go to my blog www.talktobella.com and read on everything I have to talk about this issue thanks and have a nice day God bless you thank you, thank you.